I originally did a jailbreak video on iOS 9.3.3 for your 64-bit device on a PC. Then did one on Safari, which then stopped working because Apple revoked the certificate. And then just recently did one to show you how you can do it for Mac using your own certificate uh, or a PC for that matter. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use the new method of jailbreaking through Safari, which doesn't require a computer. It's very similar to the old method, uh, but there are a few caveats. Okay, so originally the issue with the first Safari-based jailbreak was the fact that they used a developer enterprise certificate. Apple then quickly revoked it and then that killed pretty much all of the jailbreaks. Now, what they've done this time is they're using a certificate like that again, but they've put something into the phone, and this is the downside, depending on how you look at it. Uh, but your phone will constantly check with their servers in China and other parts of the world uh, for a new certificate. So what happens is this time, if Apple gets rid of that developer certificate, it will automatically find a new one from Pangu or whatever, developer teams doing the certificate, and then that will be replaced onto your phone and should let the jailbreak continue to work. So now, the obvious downsides to this is that one, your phone is constantly checking for a certificate, which is kind of weird. And then two, it's also checking, you know, and kind of checking in with places around the world that you may or may not be that comfortable with. That's the biggest downside to the jailbreak, and it's just something to note before we begin. But if you're okay with that, then here's how to jailbreak your 9.3.3 64-bit iDevice using Safari. Okay, just like the original Safari method, uh, we're gonna be heading to a website using Safari. Now I put the link below to the website. Make sure that you do use Safari and not Chrome or any other browser, it won't work. The difference being with this method that we're gonna download this and as soon as it goes from downloading to installing, we need to quickly tap on airplane mode to stop it from checking the certificate. So, that can take some effort. Uh, if you don't get it initially, because sometimes it downloads pretty fast, you need to restart your phone and then try again. Okay, so we're going to tap download now. Okay, so we're gonna tap download now. Tap install, hit the home button really quick, pull up the control center, and then turn on airplane mode. As soon as it said installing, which you'll see it did it really fast, so sometimes it's gonna take a few tries. But once it does show that it was installed, we can then turn airplane mode back off and connect it to the internet because we need that to trust the certificate. We're gonna swipe over to settings, general, scroll all the way down to device management, tap that, tap on the certificate, tap trust, trust again, hit home, and now we can actually open Pangu. And now the rest of this is gonna be just like the original. So we're gonna click okay. Give it a couple of seconds. Now you'll also notice that there is a checkbox down here for a PP app. That is an actually another app from Pangu that we don't really need. Uh, so you can uncheck that and then tap the big circle. It's then telling you to lock the phone by pushing the power button, which we'll do now. And then just wait. It's gonna give you a bunch of notifications. Just ignore them and keep waiting. Eventually though, it will restart and you can swipe over and you should see Cydia, which you should now be able to open. And so long as that opens up, you're all set. There you go, you are jailbroken. You can open Cydia, install tweaks, etc. Click the link below to be taken to my site to see all of the tweaks that I recommend and I've done videos on. I'm also going to be doing a weekly series, so subscribe for new tweaks. Uh, also, please keep in mind that this is a semi-untethered jailbreak, which means that if you reboot your phone for any reason, you're gonna lose Cydia and all of your tweaks. To get them back, you're gonna need to open the Pangu app, wait about 20 seconds for it to do its thing, 
then tap the big blue button again and go through the normal process of you know locking the screen waiting for it to reboot itself and after that you'll be all set Cydia will work again and your tweaks will actually come back but just something to note if you like this video please thumbs up it or share it it is greatly appreciated and if you want more videos like this please subscribe to the youtube channel and as always thanks for watching